Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 64 match between Elliod, the insane Elliod, and his hope you like Nurgle that played 120 games, and Titty Twister, presumably a fan of Dust Till Dawn, uh, with his like 20 game old orcs. Um, so he, he's done a lot of TV, the orcs, they've got a wizard, they've got two babes, they've got an apple, they've got Vara Ghoul Chewer. Um, he's pretty good, isn't it? They've actually not got a terrible team, right? Um, <coughs> excuse me. Some guard, some mighty blow. A uh, couple of reserves. Uh, Elliot has got like a kind of a crazy team, as you'd expect after 120 games. He's got great warriors, even though two of them are on eight. He's got a claw pommer, which could take over the game at any point. Um, he's got a vampire. He's got an edge four carrier with two heads, which is very nice. And he's got a roster of 14 players. And in the booth with me is Fymir. Hello. Oh, fans of Blood Bowl, here we are, the two sides of the coin, the team with most games ever played probably to qualify versus a very lean, undefeated Orca team, which this could go either way because uh, if the claw starts to work, the Orcs are dead, and if not, Nargal could be in trouble because there is a wizard and there is a lot of apples and babes. Yeah, so that was an instant removal there. Obviously, that was an armor nine because uh, Elliot has protected his armor eights on the inside and exposed the armor nines on the outside, and that didn't pay off for him. But now, uh, for the rest of the half, Titty Twister can try and focus these armor eight ones if he can. Oh, that was that was costly though, wasn't it? Leaving him pushable into a clone meeting. Titty Twister is an alt. I heard it was it was it was Paul's alt, but I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. I know that he has a fantastic coach name. <laughs> it is a great coach name, yeah. <laughs> so Elliot again trying to protect the armor eight. Maybe you could have put the guard in here, right, and uh, put two guards in. I guess he couldn't. Yeah, he could have put two guards in there and hit, him, hit the armor. Maybe he should have targeted the armor raid. Hard to though, isn't it? Also, he could have just tried to hit this guy. It's hard because this is the thing, like, although like you can have guard on your team, you, you just ultimately just can't stop the claw the claw pom and claw mighty hits, can you? So whatever you do. I like this from Elliot getting the chain in for an additional claw mighty hit. There we go. Very good. Instant piling on. Does nothing. Uh, and there you go, that extra block gets him a KO. Yep. And Barak is out. Beautiful. Clearly, Elliot knows how to maximize his Nargar team after more than 100 games. <laughs> yep. Is it no way, Paul? I don't know. I, 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 I just saw Paul's name mentioned, so I thought I wonder if it's if that's his ult. But I guess it was. I guess it was somebody trying to make a joke about uh, about his game versus Kadeem. Hello, Pedro. So the orcs are pretty much disconnected here, aren't they? This isn't great. Yes, it is. It needs to high roll a lot to have a chance, a good chance at this game, even with the wizard. Yeah, it's tough. You could, you could even just use the wizard to force through his own score as well, can you? Like that's how bad like it's looking for him. Um, but yeah, very exactly. Yeah, they're very nice from Elliot with the uh, chains and push directions as you'd expect of course from Elliot he is a he is a, he's a terrible person of course in quad schools uh, cheating Only to win <laughs> in the GFW but uh... <laughs> and, uh, him and Jack Bull and Space Cadet and Rick Reckless all terrible terrible people in the GFW but a great Blood Bowl player <laughs> At least two of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
that? <laughs> oh dear. There's another removal. This is lovely though, isn't it? As well, having this rookie have oh okay, well he's kept him there. I'm not sure about keeping him there. I don't know how much movement he had left, but uh lovely keeping two guys on the rookie rotter, isn't it? Or was it just all of his movement? Yeah, Penemu, maybe 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 the Nurgle broke Eliod and that's why that's why he's gone mean. <laughs> And here is the problem with the Orc team, they have much uh, mighty blows. Yeah, they really got to get lucky. They maybe should have got a got a bribe, right? Uh, I don't think they've got dirty play though, do they? But they maybe should have got a bribe just so they could relentlessly foul and try to get lucky that way, because Chaos only on the rate, aren't they? Um, especially the Claw Pommer being able to pile in loads of fouls yeah. on him would have been nuts. Induce alignment with a uh, dirty player. Yep, that's, that was or a Maybe even two. Sorry, sorry for the, all the coughing all the time. I can't help it. <laughs> Surf here, isn't there? I've just noticed he's not going for it. The legendary goat, more than two hundred SPs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nearly retired. He, he'll retire after the final. On, yeah, I think it's guaranteed that after the final he'll retire. So he got the absolute maximum out of this guy. 254 SPPs. Unbelievable. I think this was more sensible, to be fair, by Elliot going for that blitz and then the core pump hit and everything. More than just trying to surf this guy. But, I mean, it was possible, right? It was possible to surf him, but you'd have had to have blocked this block first. And, oh, no, he's blocked. Ah, well, you'd have to risk the... Uh, Risk the stupid, which could have been really bad, or even double skulls. I know Diddy Duster is going in the classic choice when to, you know, blitz with the mighty blow. The easy targets <laughs> yeah. or the important target. Yeah. And he's, he's got him there for any any time he wants to serve him, actually, hasn't he? <laughs> he can just slowly, he can just slowly nudge him into the, uh, slowly nudge him towards the sideline if he wants. Got to think about this counter score now, hasn't he, Elliot? Um, he's got this drive completely under control. Of course, it's not over. I'm sure he would hate me if I said it was all over at this point. But he's got the score pretty much under control, right? With uh, the removals. He's got the core inevitability. He's got the movement and everything. I feel like he should be trying to sneak, sneak this guy through and get some pressure on. There's another one gone. He has two babes, so for the second half, probably most of them will be back, but making the score more and more impossible every time. Yeah. And Elliot does does like safety first a lot of the time, so I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't go for it. I, I like going for it. I really like pushing this guy up, up and getting some heat on the ball. Ah, okay, he, he tries for the more speculative player just this just this one but I mean he could have had two right he could have had could have had two players there I like that a lot more because there is a real chance he doesn't score especially with the wizard on his own drive so often as Nurgle I find it easy to score on the opposing drive just because the ball started nearer their end zone because <laughs> the Nurgle are pretty slow and <laughs> and a bit crap at ball handling <laughs> so Oh, there comes the dodge. Yeah, and if if this guy had been around here, then this just is is not, is not happening, is it? Like, he'd have been in a world of trouble here. Ooh! Avoids the narcolepsy. Gets started on the ball. He can still dodge. He can just dodge through, right? Because he's a. Uh, Match five essentially with two heads, so you can just dodge around and hit it from the back still. I think that was a bit too safe from Elio. Yeah, I, I didn't need that kind of... I can see why he did it. But... Well, that's just not like he really needs that player being the action, you know, he has more or less everything under control. 
I, I think he did though. That's the thing. I think like I think I think having that guy up around the ball just makes the like you know might make might make Titty Twister use the wizard on his own offense, and it might it might get something going. And you know it's obviously marginal, like, and it's just personal preference. Obviously, he could have moved him up, and then he could have got stunned. Um, but I just think that's just an interesting difference between myself and Elio that I would have I would have definitely gone in this situation for a bit more pressure. Oh. Oh, our oh, region works. <laughs> Huge region. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yikes. Well, now, of course, Elliot has to give up on the score. <laughs> There's only one guy who went up and he got cast, so... <laughs> There's absolutely no chance of a, of a counter score now, so at least he can write that off and just concentrate on maybe he's going for surfs and uh, claw palm hits. Could surf this guy this turn, can't he? If he wants to. Like he's not though. Well, oh, claw might is nearly as good as surfing. Maximum safety, not the uh, blocking with the beast. Yep. Why you need to, you know, use the player when you can just block a black orc and take him out? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what? I mean... Nah, I don't like that. I'm, I'm hitting the... I'm hitting the... I'm hitting the black orc all day. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I mean, you hit that, yes. Of course, I just made a joke, you know, the dirty, dirty players making blocks are usually deadly. Oh, right. He was trying to get him... Oh, I don't know. I, th I, I think I would have given up at that point. Okay. Maybe should have tagged. If, you, if you're going to dodge this guy as well, maybe tag with him. But I mean, this gives him a score chance, which is fine, isn't it? It's funny, isn't it, that that, that that I thought was a little too rowdy for the for the counter score, but maybe it isn't. Maybe this is the absolute. Oh, he's punted. <laughs> maybe this is the total one. Yes, that's true, Edith, that's true. I think I would rather he use the Wiz, though. I, like, I would I would rather he use the Wiz. Because there's the danger on your drive that he, he uses the Wiz and scores us off it, doesn't it? Which is very bad. Uh, obviously, having that guy back made it very, very safe. And Elliot is definitely a safety first kind, safety first kind of guy. But I think Chunta would have definitely like moved moved the edge guy up, right? He would Chunts would have moved the, the, the vampire forward. Um Elliot is is very, very, very conservative. Oh, it's one of the apples. Yeah. Oh failed at you. I mean that that wasn't a terrible chance to score, was it? That was alright, I mean it was uh, two GFIs and then the pass. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Oh, three KOs come back with the air, babes. So, like he took heavy attrition that drive, the Orcs, but um, he's not that bad for the second half, is he? Although he's down Varag, which is pretty terrible. And while he didn't score, at least he didn't get scored on. <laughs> and now he's on defense with a whiz, so an eleven players, so it's it's not terrible for the Orcs, but obviously it's uh you know, Elliot was favoured before the match and he's still favoured right now. He has uh, the Orcs have more or less the, the whole team. The only thing that he's missing is Barak. Just need a little luck. With a little, I mean a lot of luck. 
Yeah. And Varag's not even that much better, right, than the than a black orc with mighty blow. Like he's he's only barely better than the black orc. I I think uh, in this uh, the dirty players would have been a better option than Varag because Varag doesn't have much table anyway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that could have been a dirty player and a bribe or two, couldn't it? Something like that. Yeah, I don't think I like Varag. I, I never like Varag. I'd rather have I'd rather have Ripper for the strength. I this is very, very, very very rarely would I ever take my rag. Yeah, I think I think TP line on five yeah. If you take Varag, you're wrong always. Yeah, maybe like it's, there's times like if your team is really bad, then you can add a lot of quality. But even then, I'd probably just go Ripper right for the strength. Yeah, the strength and the regen. It's, it'd be really rare to take Varag, and his team's like pretty decent. Like so, it's. If he, it's hard to field him on defense, isn't it? How does he field him on defense? He, he replaces the mighty blow, black oak probably, or you, or you just put your mighty blow black oak on the line, which seems pretty crazy versus Clawpon. Pile it on. Yeah, good point, Rick. Var oh well, Varag did nothing. Varag is very cool. Yeah, Varag is. I mean. <laughs> In the old days, Barak had leader, so you know he was the star player that came with a free reroll. Yeah, he was incredible. He was 160 TV, and he, he came with a reroll. So like, he was he was just literally 20 TV more for plus strength and mighty blow and pro. He was just incredible. <laughs> Originally, and then uh, like that was when you could roster star players, and then he was also really good when he was uh, you had to pay for him. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. A reliable, like, you know, versus elves uh, with, like, a low TV, an underdeveloped orc team versus elves, then Varag might be okay in that he can, uh, you know, he, he's got block and he's got strength force, so he, he's got mighty blow, like, he can just get your yeah, mighty blow blitzes in and you wouldn't really want to move four guy against elves. So I could see him versus, like, elves. If, you t if you're rubbish. Well, no, I mean, that was later as well, Ada. That was later. When you could roster the count, he was 180. And yes, he was still better than... He was still better than Varag. But Varag was great when you could roster a leader. <laughs> like, yeah. thingy was the same. Borak, Lord Borak had leader as well. So you could just... You could, there was just no point in ever not getting him. Because he was... Like, he was... I think Borak was... Like, the same as... Uh, as just buying a warrior and a reroll, <laughs> except except he was strength five and had mighty blow and dirty player. <laughs> it was insane, <laughs> crazy times back in the day. So this is a bit of a a bit of a nasty offense, isn't it? Very spread out here, Elio. He's got the ball on the rookie for the wizard, which is nice. But he's he's teeter on the brink of like inviting pressure, isn't he? Basically, he needs to get some uh, orcs out. Oof. And this isn't a criticism of earlier. I don't know what the right play is to uh, to kind of disincentivize the wizard, and you know, like. Well, you, you want him to bolt and then f not work. Like you want him to bolt and then and then not get the ball, don't you? Basically, is what you want. So you want to like you want to draw. No, so we do. You definitely want to draw the bolt onto the skillless pestigore, <laughs> and then have him not score afterwards, or even you know even do very well afterwards. Could he have bolted here? Let's pause it. I mean, the ball's pretty exposed, isn't it? Yes, he it's has uh, some uh, good options there to open a space. Depends of the scatter, but the scatter could be, you know, very good for Elliot or very bad. Yeah, he could have also fireballed these four, and, like, that might have done something. Like, there's an argument that he should fireball just because he's so far behind in this game that, like, you know, getting a fireball in to, like, turn the tide of the match is... is is something that maybe you should think about. Also, he needs to be quick because every turn, chances there's gonna be less orcs on the pitch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so like, there's definitely the motivation to use it early because of that, for sure. 
I wouldn't say this was an easy fireball on four dudes, but like the fact that you could hit these four and like get the carrier and then even like this guy would mean that you could like either of these two means would open up a path to the ball and obviously you could hit the ball as well. Yeah. Ball both guards in that rudder. It would be an interesting. I think Varag in 2020 is roughly the same as he was before. Um, it's just that there's going to be more situations where you'd rather have a strength 5 block than you would have a strength 6 non-block, isn't there? So, like, he's a bit better, but he's still got the problem of Ripper just being better, mostly. <laughs> oh, hey. There's a cast. And, yeah, that's, that's, that, that is the argument for, like, the early wizard, isn't it? Because... Just gonna lose players, you're almost certainly gonna lose players as the orcs. So maybe that wasn't a bad time to wizard last turn. I think it was the if it wasn't at the right turn, it's gonna be very soon to wizard because as I say the orcs are very pressed to keep the team alive. Yeah, but now and now it's really safe though, isn't it? Yeah. So he's he's definitely on the clock. I'm sure he knows he has a wizard, yes, but I mean, that, I think last turn was the first time he had a chance to use it. Um, yes, it's part of the debate, you know, the the menace of the wizard is better than using the wizard, but in this case, I think it's the other way around. You you, you know, uh, TD Twister needs to get the ball quick, yeah. because he can out-smash the, out the Nargle. There is no chance of that. Not really, no. No. He, like, he could get lucky, right? There are armor rate ones, like this guy's armor rate, so he, he should be trying to target him with Mighty Blow when he can. Um, and the other one's armor rate as well as the referee is. This one down here. And obviously the claw on his armor rate. The, like, this Beastman's amazing in armor rate. This Beastman's amazing in armor rate. So there's, 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 it's a target-rich environment for the Orcs, but he has only got Mighty Blow. He doesn't have Pining On. doesn't have Dirty Player. doesn't have a Bribe, so it's, it's not easy. Yeah, I think the the wizard fireball there was a good option because he had a lot of armor right players to hit. Yeah, I, I, I think that was maybe the the best time to wizard, or like a good enough time to wizard maybe. Um, the ball wasn't near the beast as well. Like the beast can interfere with your plans. There's a chance of a wizard here. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the wizard here from his point of view. Um, again, you could go for this four, couldn't you, for a fireball? Uh, you could go for these three as a fireball. Um, that three is terrible because these two aren't helping you get the ball. If you go for these four, I think you probably need too much to get in. Because so you, you could go for like... Nah, I think I think this turn is crap. <laughs> I think this turn is crap for a wizard. Like, that's all Elliot has to do, right? He just has to make the turns crap for a wizard because he doesn't want to get bolted and lose. Like, Elliot's first job on his offense is to just not get bolted and lose. Fireball and lose, he didn't like either. <laughs> yes, Elliot has the inevitability. I do like that, that phrase from Magic the Gathering. And there you go, there is the armor rate targeted. By mighty blow and removed. Yeah. He's been good at rolling the three pluses, hasn't he? This little guard just running around. <laughs> yes. Not knowing very well where to go, but he really chose poorly here as well because Elliot's got a frenzy, which I guess the uh, the orc forgot about. <laughs> <laughs> because he can get surfed here. And Elliot can't really get forward, so it's not really costing me anything to get the surf here. Hello, Satador. Oh, wow. Dodge is away. Greedy. Here comes the surf. I 
I mean, it does, but he doesn't get much anyway, right? Like, he doesn't get much forward momentum anyway, so... And oh, in comes the fireball. Well, I thought this was terrible at the time. <laughs> um, I, because I just I feel like it's because Elliot's stalling already, right? Like now it's turn thirteen. Like Elliot's only got three turns left. Now, yeah, yeah, an Arian at seven p.m. Like just three hours ago. So like now that I feel like he's stalled enough, right? You can you can hit this you can hit this warrior and get enough in front and probably stop him scoring without it. Um, and this fireball has just got to be very lucky to be any good. And it is very lucky. <laughs> he, uh, he, he had to hit. He had to get the ball and the other guy in the, in in the cage, didn't he? He had to hit these two specifically, and he did. So that was very lucky fireball, to be honest. Very lucky fireball. That was like a, a wine four fireball, basically. So was, I think it was a terrible decision. Personally, yeah, too many happen. things had to work. Yeah, and ju pl plus the fact he was his defense was looking pretty good anyway, right? Like I was just thinking that after this turn from Elliot, that Elliot's gonna have to like really bludgeon his way up um, to like to score, right? He's, he's, I thought Elliot had to really bludgeon his way up to try and get the wizard used. Like I thought at this point with three turns left, it's gonna be really hard for Elliot to score. And the best thing he can do is to hope to get the wizard used, <laughs> and then the wizard just got used instantly. So I think I think that was a really really bad wizard, um, and even though it went as well as it could possibly have gone, <laughs> like making a Kaz which okay is regen, and getting the two knockdowns that he needed. So he basically used it on a one in four chance, got the one in four chance, got the perfect scatter, got the ball, and it's still just not producing a counter score for him. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was a real, really bad fireball. I, I like the safety first from Elliot there, moving the claw bomber straight back. Yes, definitely, Snowy did. Yeah. I like the non follow there to trap this. Trap this blitzer. Oh, so that's just a two plus, isn't it? Because he's, he's got two heads. Puts in the reroll, only gets the push. Got the follow, hasn't he? Probably. Now is the orcs here. I, like I genuinely, I genuinely didn't hate just going for the surf on this edge four guy. Because if you look at if you look at Elliot's team, he's only got two more turns, and he's run back the other pest to go. So if you just try and surf this guy, then at least you're not, you know, you're not losing, right? If you, if you get the surf here, you at least don't lose in normal time. But if you, if you get the knockdown and no armor break, Elliot's still got a scoring threat. So I, I didn't hate going for the surf as the Orcs. Uh, but obviously it's not very ambitious in terms of winning the game. Which after you've used the wizard, you probably should be ambitious. But how? Because now Elliot's got a strength for, a strength for uh, safety. So. <laughs> well, hey, Dev, I, th I, th I mean, the, the the fireball decision's gone, right? You don't have a f you don't have a wizard anymore, for better or for worse. You don't have the wizard anymore. I think it was a terrible decision to fireball, but you so you just got you got to go out of your head. And you've got to look at the board state, and you've got to think. I've got to stop him scoring. Like as the orcs here, I still think stopping him scoring is the most important thing. And, and oh. surfing his edge for two heads guy is <laughs> definitely the best way to stop him scoring. <laughs> yep. I would have also tried to move that, that blitzer around here last turn anyways, the Orcs. Um, like, I think he definitely should have tried to get that blitzer forward. He didn't, he blocked, he blocked the Black Orc with him, didn't he? I would have blocked with a lineman and then tried to get this Black Orc forward last turn. <laughs> Wouldn't you? So I like the follow from the uh, I like the follow from the Nurgle Warrior there to occupy this Black Oak. 
just because like this is Elio's only scoring threat, isn't it? So it just kind of makes it too easy for him to uh, to knock this down. Needlessly risky here as well from Titty Twister going for the GFI. He could have just put in the assist from the Black Hawk and Blitz with a lineman, shouldn't he? That's what he should have done. This was definitely wrong to GFI hit him. <laughs> uh, like this is greedier, and it, there's some payoff obviously in the in the greediness to this, but. That I think that was pretty crazy. I think he absolutely should have uh, should have assisted with a black hole and blitz with the uh, run. But he gets away with that two plus for no reason, essentially. Yeah, the the the, the dead pile is is piling up, isn't it? <laughs> He's got the reserves though, he's got a good chance. I mean, it's definitely overtime now, isn't it? There's a good chance of, well, I guess not. There's still a technically a chance of the Orc scoring. A very low chance. There's another one gone. Now he might not have overtime with 11 players. I mean, I don't know. I think, I think, I don't know. It ever. I, I, I favoured both halves going for the score, um, pushing for the score more, just because it gets over with, doesn't it? Like you can lose the toss in overtime, and things can happen. It's it's really not hard for things to happen in overtime, but it would have been a lot easier for things to have happened in overtime if he'd saved his wizard. So the Rottus the Warrior stays out. Both both Orcs come back. Yeah, I think he did. I think the Orcs played well apart from the Wizard, basically, I think. Like, it was really tough for the Orcs, wasn't it? Um, yeah, it was uh, very tough, and the Orcs did a good job most of the time, I'll say. Yeah. Being very Orky. And then Elliot won the toss. Which is pretty much the game, right? Um, <laughs> Elliot would hate to say you would hate you to say GG once he's won the toss, but <laughs> winning the toss is against ten orcs, and he's got claw, he's got three claw mighties and a claw pommer, and he's got an, he's got a vampire, he's got an edge five guy essentially, and the opponent has wasted his wizard. Um, this is pretty much over. But Elliot would hate it if you said that. It's definitely not over. <laughs> well, you can watch the VOD, Tom Schniz. Um Someone tell Elliot it's over for me. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, you know, he sets up against the Blitz a little bit. I mean, it's hard. You can't say he let him do that here, Dev. Like, Elliot's got Claw Mighty and loads of guard as well. Like, <laughs> I think it's a bit unfair to say he let him do that. One, two, three. Four guard for Elliot. And one, two, three. Four, five guard for the Orcs. So it's close on guard. But Elliot has strength four claw pom blitz as wherever he wants and loads of claw mighty hits. But yeah, I think I think the wizard was a clear mistake from and this is a clear mistake from Elliot here. I think I hate this activation. I absolutely hate this activation because if if you if you stupid here, then you're giving up the hit on the claw like you're giving up the hit on the claw bomber anyway, right? So like the idea is to act Activate him to protect, but he could have just not. He could have just kept his claw mighty there, um, to protect him that way. Th this activation is just. It's the one is so bad, isn't it? The the the. It's just so bad because this guy gets blitzed and he floods through. 
So I think I think you just can't activate the warrior the beast there. I just think the one in six. And obviously it's unlikely to roll the one in six, but I think that is a bad I think that is a bad activation. I think that's a, a mistake. Yeah, fair enough here, Dev. But I still think that's a bit hard, because he's up against it, right? But I think that was a big mistake in that, that activation. Uh, but it's okay, because it's counted by a bigger mistake from Titty Twister. <laughs> and then piles in all of his players, completely abandoning the defense, instead of pushing through and uh, putting in intense pressure on Elliot. And then he quad skulls, so oh. there you go. So now, now Elliot can rest easy as he's as he's as he's as his opponent has got Varag surfed, and uh, and yeah, just completely just failed to generate pressure. Like that was the thing. Like the quads would have ruined him anyway, obviously. But I don't know how you don't try to push through the middle there. Like that 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 stupid just gave him a chance. Yeah, that's fair, eh, Dev? Yeah. yeah, I agree with that. I think Elliot definitely played great the first few turns, for sure. There's <laughs> another... Christ, this dirty player... <laughs> He's got all these claw mighties and the dirty player rot is just casting everything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes, they are armor six against against half of the players on Elliot's team. <laughs> so it's not surprising, but it's just funny that it's the it's the dirty player that's doing all the damage. He knows the dirty players are the killing machines. So Elliot obviously confident here because he moved him away. Like obviously it was better to keep him here positionally, wasn't it? Positionally it was better to keep that pestigo there, but I guess he wanted to induce the blitz onto the rotter. Um, rather than protect his claw mate. Like, that lets, uh, that lets Titty Twister generate some pressure. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is alright, isn't it? But I mean... It's not. It's still not doing much. And Elio can. Oh, Elio has easy safely. to cage in the center. Yeah, yeah, he can cage all the way back here. It's 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 easy. Now you can look at K Fog's videos, KLZD. I'm sure. I'm sure K Fog has defenses, one turn defenses in his his YouTube series. I'm sure he has various defences. Um, so I've got no idea what the link is or anything. But <laughs> yeah, PTK has a lot of videos about the one turning. Yeah, and they're the ones to look. But who was a versus Chanter? It's like uh, not much to do. Chanter will always do the craziest option. <laughs> I mean, you can still do the right thing, can't you? Um... Oh, Rick Reckless is dead. Well deserved. <laughs> oh, the most Never toxic like the man guy. in Blood Bowl. Never <laughs> like it, the guy. <laughs> right, here's, here's the link. There's the link. I'll make that a command as well. Flip me, guys. <laughs> Flip me, guys. I'm dead. <laughs> just a rotter. Just a rotter in Aria. Obviously, zero, zero flips given by uh, by Elliot. <laughs> yeah. As Elliot is getting uh, two players for uh, 
or at least one for free. <laughs> yeah, Elliot's already killed somebody, so he's getting into the free rotter anyway. And now he can even try to hand off to the rookie, can he? Get the rookie SPPs, I don't know where he is. Here. He shouldn't try to get three passes on him. <laughs> but he should definitely try to get a touchdown. Oh, wow. And what? Mr. Throw is gone. <laughs> All these cars from non-claws. It's ridiculous. It's funny that it hasn't even the claw just kicked in. It's just random. Random dicing. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute rando, no skill dudes have just annihilated things. The dirty player, I don't think he's made one foul, but he's still made like three cats. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely stupid. And now Elliot has the more or less he disordered and he can breathe because he's after uh, qualifying after more than 100 games. He was out in the first game for. <laughs> That would have been terrible, wouldn't it? That's what Sean he said when he turned up. He said it'd be horrible to go out after after playing 120 games to qualify. And going out first round, you're like, oh, that would be absolutely brutal. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is obviously over now. Uh, it was pretty much over yeah, I... after the after the court schools, I think. Maybe even before then. But yeah, I think, I mean, as as Adev said, I, th I think the Orcs played fine, but, um, well, titty twist, they right? Had, they <laughs> had a very tall order to feel here, the Orcs. They needed to be very lucky and play nearly a perfect game. Yeah, yeah, I think they played fine, apart, but apart from the terrible wizard, in my opinion, and the absolutely horrendous blitz decision. Um, but then they quad skull then anyway, and then obviously Elliot played pretty much perfectly when it mattered. But I, I, I thought he made a big mistake with the, uh, with the beast. The beast. Yes, he opened a door there. He opened a door. Yeah, I didn't like that. And you can argue that, you know, he could have pushed forward um, with the strength four, edge four as well earlier, but like that's, that's nitpicking. There and is another uh, death there without the, uh, at this time with uh, mighty block blow. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So yeah, another death for two free rotters for Elliot. Not bad. Elliot maximizing the chalice equity there, getting free players. Yeah. Mark yeah. move. <laughs> and you absolutely need them, right? You need them as 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 Nurgle. He's he's got the TV now. He's just not getting any money after every game. So uh, so he absolutely has to get the things. Is the concession legal? No, he had a, he had a reserve. I mean, not that it would matter. <laughs> There's no point conceding, is there? <laughs> and then when you're about to lose the next turn. <laughs> um, so there you go, 24 AV breaks to aid. And That's it. That's the whole story. I mean, all the most of the armor breaks came in the second half and the extra time. Yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. And most of them came from just not, not claw as well. Like, it was, what a crazy game. What an absolutely crazy game. Now, how much SPP? Oh, I've got no idea where SPP is. There is a tab there next to that. Oh, there, right, there you go. Yeah, I couldn't work it out. It's lot, lot, that long since I played this game. 19, 26, 26 SPP. Pretty good. Pretty good haul. Um, yeah, 26 SPP. <laughs> from a 1 0 win. <laughs> um, oh. So yeah, I mean that was the thing. It was it was a really tall order for the Orcs, and and they did all right. Um, and Elio did pretty great. So there you go. And he's he's finally paid off his 120 games, his descent into complete insanity. Rewarded <laughs> with a, another game. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that it was the cost him the game, the fireball mistake. I think it was a desperation, a fireball. The guy, you know, got nervous or whatever. I thought, okay, I don't have many options left. Yeah. And he didn't want to pass the option because the good fireball maybe was a couple times before that. Yeah. But at that point, if he wanted the, the, to win before extra time, that was the time more or less because there was not much else to do. I mean, he was absolutely dominated by the Nargal at the, at the moment.
yeah, I think it was quite possible for the Orcs to play completely perfectly that game and still lose. So, like, obviously no one plays perfectly, but even if you had, like, a Blood Bowl supercomputer and played per absolutely perfectly, I think you'd still be very easy. Very I mean, easy to uh, lose. 24 armor breaks in how many blocks? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's been 20... Uh, what is this? In 57 blocks. <laughs> so, yeah, 50% uh, armor break. Yeah, pretty brutal, pretty brutal. But congrats to Elliot, commiserations to Titty Twister. <laughs> Thank you very much, Faimir, for coming on and doing the commentary. Absolutely glorious to have you, as always. As always, a pleasure to be here. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>